Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This episode of nothing in particular, we are just showing you how to download Tabletop Simulator. So, in order to do so, you'll need to download Steam. If you're on PC, you probably already have it, but you'll need that before anything else. And then you can just search for Tabletop Simulator. Currently, it's at $19.99 but it usually goes on sale every so often for about 10. Now, once you have Tabletop Simulator downloaded, you'll need to go to the Community tab and drop down to Workshop. Tabletop Simulator comes standard with some card games, uh, some checkers, chess, like different stuff like that. But if you go to the Workshop and you type in Tabletop Simulator again, You'll get all of these really interesting, cool, basically free-to-play uh, add-ons that people have developed. So once you get to the Tabletop Workshop, you can just browse. Uh, there's board games, card games, dice games. Or you can do what I do and just search for hero clicks because that is the easiest way. Uh, the mod that me and Calder use is called HeroClix Tabletop, HeroClix Project, I guess. Uh, but this is the image right here. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to it, and then it'll appear in your Tabletop Simulator files. So if you go here, you can read a little bit more about what they're doing. Here's the Discord that you can join right there uh, with a nice link to get you some people that'll uh, be online to play Tabletop Simulator with you. And so once all that's done, all there is left to do is boot up Tabletop Simulator. All right. So first things first, it's a pretty simple app, game, whatever. Um, if someone sends you a, if someone set up a game and they're giving you a link, you hit join, search for it here, and then usually there'll be a code or something like that. Um, Alternatively, if you're making your own and you're going to add someone else, you just hit create, hit multiplayer. I always have it set to two for Thursday throwdowns, and then I have it set for Steam friends. So you can set it to invite if they're not friends on Steam, but if there are they are friends, it's pretty simple. You just hit this plus button and invite people that are on. Uh, here you've got the different workshops that I've downloaded. Uh, here's some different save files. There's DLCs and then classic games. And you can go into each of these and find more, but all you have to do is click on that, hit load, and now you're in the game. Uh, depending on the speed of your computer, it might take it a little bit longer to load or a little bit less, but once the assets are loaded, you can start playing around. Uh, if you click the scroll wheel, it allows you to grab them the entire area and then scrolling with it changes the camera but you can find all this stuff out pretty simply just by messing around a little bit uh, right clicking gives you all these options if you click on a booster and hit search it'll let you go th from one to whatever the highest thing in the booster is if you don't find something in the booster there's these dc special objects and ability cards and stuff like that then the Marvel one, of course, is the Infinity Gauntlet. There's maps here. There's bystander tokens. So if the bystander tokens aren't in the set, it's very possible that they'll be in this little box. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, special dice and tokens are over here. To roll dice, you can just highlight, drag, and highlight, hit R, you only really need to hit it once, but I like to hit it a couple times. And alternatively, you can shake them and let go, but that can get a little bit crazy. If you ever screw up or drop something or delete something, you can hit the rewind time button. You can also just save and reload a game. That's also... I suggest saving the game every now and then if... Uh, your computer is prone to crashing or anything like that it'll just save you the time of setting up again but that's pretty much it uh, tabletop simulators pretty easy to understand and get your head around uh, but if you do have any questions that discord is a great place to ask them it's also 
probably the best place that I've found to find games for this. Until next time, uh, table flip. Because that's always fun.